Hi everyone, this is Arlene. I'm here today with a video tutorial for Lindy Stamp Gang. On this video, I'm going to show you how you can alter those brads that you have in your scrapbooking stash that you just never seem to use because maybe the color isn't right or maybe the design or texture isn't right for the project you're working on. Well, this brad that you see in the middle of this flower used to look like this. And it was just this um, dull blue painted uh, well it's not really dull, it's a little bit shiny um, brad and these I picked up at Michael's and these are from the recollection section and they look like this I was really drawn to these brads because of the design that they have. It's a really pretty antique looking design but the colors just really don't work with the projects that I typically work on. So what I'm going to do on this video is show you how to alter your brads and I have a number of them here too. Sorry let me show these to you. So I have a number of these brads here, like this one's silver. I usually don't go for silver on my projects. I like to um, stick more towards the antique looking ones like this. So I'm going to be altering a silver brad for you on this video as well as um, one of these blue ones. And how I do that, typically there's there's videos out there if, if you all have searched um, that show you how to alter a brad using your Versamark pad. And typically what you would do is you would dip your, your brad into the Versamark and then you can sprinkle embossing powder on it and heat set it. Um, I'm going to take it a little step further and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my paint daubers. And the Lindy Stamp Gang uh, Moon Glow Two-Toned Embossing Powders uh, will set on even water. It's really cool. So I'm going to use these and what's really cool is you got two colors coming out of the embossing powders and you also have some of this peeking through. Um, also what you can do is if, if you don't want to use you know your paint daubers and you just want to use your Versamark pad or what have you, um, you can also use your antique gold rub and buff around the corners of the brad to give it a little bit more glow. So on this particular brad I it's basically all of the midnight gold um, and I can't say this word, obsidian. Um, I hope I said that okay. I used that on the entire brad, but I edged the brad with some of this rub and buff, and that was to um, accent around the edges a little bit more with the gold. So really pretty. I love how that turned out. So let me hold it up so you guys can see that. Let me talk about this flower for a little bit. So these flowers are actually from the Floor Boutique container uh, of Recollections flowers that you can pick up at Michael's. What I did, and I want to introduce some of these newer colors for you, and these were um, released on the Lindy Stamp Gang website, website around the holidays, around Thanksgiving. But this top color here, and it's so pretty, it gives all of this um, iridescent shimmer, and it's perfect for Valentine's Day. That one is Cotton Candy Pink. And you can purchase this in a Little Lindy's kit if you go to lindystampgang.com. Um, and then this bottom color here is really pretty. I'm in love with this pink. And this is called Hottie Patati Pink. And basically the way you use your sprays is you, you know, stick your flower into, and these are just the tan flowers. Okay, I'm using this color right here. Um, you stick your flowers into your spray box, and you basically just spray enough starburst stains to cover. You don't want to soak the petals you guys because you're going to make your petals really limp and, and soak it too much. So you just want to spray it enough to get full coverage and then you're going to heat set it with your heat gun. And this is what you get. It's really pretty. And the leaves I actually um, daub them with the Ponderosa Pine Olive Starburst Stains. And this one has a dauber top that looks like this. Okay, you can alternate dauber tops for sprays and it depends on what project you're working on. Typically if you're coloring flowers, I, I like to either paint the starburst stains on or spray them. I don't tend to use my dauber because it smushes the petals when you daub on them. Okay, so that's that flower. This flower here, again using the same um, set here, but I used the... Um, I used the tan colored ones, but as you can tell, you can't even tell what color I used because the starburst stains cover the entire, um, they basically stain the entire flower. But on this top color here, I'm using my favorite all-time color, which is the golden sleigh bells, and it's like near empty on there. Um, and then I have the um, dark chocolate truffle, and these are new, fairly new colors as well that were just released at the end of 2010, so check those out on um, Lindy Stamp Gang website, website. 
And then on the skeleton leaves, I use the cream, creme brulee cream. And it's a really nice light color. Again, I have the dauber top on this one because I like to daub it, the color onto my, um, and I have dauber tops. Like I said, I alternate dauber tops from spray tops. Okay, and then on this particular brad here, I painted it. This used to be a silver brad. It used to look like this. If you guys can see the difference. Um, and what I did is I painted it first with my butterscotch dauber paint, and then I sprinkled on the um, Midnight Copper Obsidian on that. And it's like a really nice, dark, brown, glittery color. This is one of my favorite colors. And um, so I sprinkled that on there, and then I heat set it, and that's what you get. It's really awesome, you guys. It makes the brads look really antique and distressed. It's really cool. So let me go ahead and take you into tutorial on how I created these brads. Here I'm taking my paint dauber in pitch black, and I'll be using it to dab on a first coat of paint over the blue brad. And you want to make sure you work the paint into all the crevices so you don't see any of the blue. Now I'm taking one of my grungy tweezers and I'm going to heat set the paint to dry it. I'm daubing on my second layer of acrylic paint and I'm going to take my tweezers and sprinkle on some of the dual toned embossing powder in Midnight Gold Obsidian. And you want to make sure you do this when the paint's wet. Give it a nice good coat as well. Now I'm taking my heat tool and heat setting the embossing powder. Be very careful because it'll be hot to the touch after heat setting, but this is how it comes out so pretty. The dual tone embossing powder gives you two colors. And you can do this to all of your metal embellishments, not just brads. And it's just gorgeous. Don't forget you can edge with your antique gold rub and buff. I'm using the same technique here, but I'm uh, daubing this butterscotch paint dauber onto a silver brad and working the paint in as far as I can. Now I won't be doing two coats here, just one. While the paint's still wet, I'm going to sprinkle on randomly the two-tone embossing powder in Midnight Copper Obsidian. You don't want to do full coverage because you want some of that butterscotch acrylic paint to peep out, and this gives it a little bit of a distressed look. I'm taking my heat tool now and setting the embossing powder, and you'll see the embossing powder start to set right here. It's really neat. And you'll see that some of the butterscotch acrylic paint is popping out to give it a worn look. There's a little bit too much popping out on one side, so while the brad is hot, or while the embossing powder is hot, I'm going to dip it into the embossing powder again so I can cover up some of that open space. So here's the flower I created with the brad, and here's the brad we just created. Really pretty. And I'm just gonna share with you the other brad again. Super fun, so I hope you give this a try. Visit Lindy Stamp Gang at www.lindystampgang.com for product information and ordering. Thanks for joining me.